what up everyone it's your boy epic daffodil here and today we're on episode four of late baby you already know it's about to go down right now but before we get started you gotta smash that like button you gotta subscribe and you already know you gotta comment and let me know what you want to see or what other game you want me to play that's how it is. but first i gotta tell you something we got bad news they copyrighted your boy for the music in this game so you know i had to go to settings sound Turn the music down. Okay. Never rap again. Got it. All right. Continue. I'll continue the game. My bad. All right. We're back where we left off. I no, think this Angie is. No, Angie Eastman. You can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? Oh, this might be our day. Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you, with your computer background. All right. I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> oh, we got jokes. You know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Just say I'm cute, bro. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well... I do kind of have a thing for nerds. Whoa. I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform. So I guess you tick multiple boxes. Oh, damn. She coming <laughs> so on strong. For particular reason, you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Let's just say I needed a change of scenery. And okay, you're well, who I'm trying to I see totally right now. Different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Damn, L.A. Oh, really? Then... Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter for one thing, slower for another. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. Okay. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable oh, shit. too, so you can take it to anyone. I've actually wow. never seen that before, never so I'm gonna speak the truth right here. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you. Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which True. I guess is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. What? The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. Ooh, this okay. This about murders in a bathtub, right? <laughs> well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. Why don't you watch it with me then? Before Lori gets a chance. You know your mom. I think she'll love it. You know the men's not how to flirt After yet. back the box. I have a couple movies planned for Psych? her. Psych. They are Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. Oh, Jaws. Okay. Now. So they actually have real movies in, in this game. Is. Did I know that? So, you in? I'm in. Right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. Bless. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Babe? Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get Not back. even give me a kiss? Uh, what should I say here? I guess time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, she just left? Okay. Oh, that quick? Alright, bus. Alright. Well, I think Angie and me are in that comfort zone. So we should be good. Oh, we're not even doing it? I bless. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Dad. Hey, Dad. How 
How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? Of course. I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. Uh, I don't care if he's married. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He liked baseball a bit too much. He plays as a bet every now and then. Ah. Uh, too serious. Gambler. Uh, Mildred or Bert? Uh, you know, let's do, Bert's a Bert's a mysterious character, you know. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much, but he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. What? Good Speaking to know. Of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Oh, Damn, their parents have been fun. What movie? Uh, stand by me. About four. I haven't heard of it. Boys in or if it's even a real movie or not. Sounds good. Say hi to mom for me. Hi. Hi. Bye, Meredith. Uh, work on the edit material or stay home and watch a movie. Should I ignore my job? Like, if I don't do this, what happens? You feel me? You know, let me work on it, and the next time I won't. If if I if I don't, you know, I don't know what's the pros and cons of this. Oh, maybe I get too tired or something. Right, here we go. Do we get like too tired or something? <laughs> I'm just thinking if I get too tired, I fuck. Oh, it's raining? Is that what I hear? Oh shit! Okay, weather change. All right, work started. Let's go. Rise and shine, PO. The time has come for a. PO, huh? Oh, There's a delivery right here. Today's contribution is for Mildred, the senior authority on pets and feeders. All right. There should be one on Main Street. Blast. There's a farm I saw, so I guess we gotta drive a lot today. But, fuck it. That's what we gotta do. What's up, Smokey? Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh. One of those yellow parcels. Uh, Isn't yellow the color of fun and happiness? It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. What about, what are you saying? Well, photography can be just for fun, too, right? What are these, board well, games? If you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Oh, uh, wait, we have to take photos now? Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here. Uh, are I nice. guess. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am. Oh God, I should just said nah. <laughs> what am I doing this? Oh wait. Oh wait, not here. It says as. I guess when I go on the road or something. Actually, this is low key fire. Why not? That's one. Do I have to take all 12? really don't want to. Alright, I guess we got a few more. Stu oh, wait. We got some stuff in the back. Low key. I almost ran her over, low key. Alright. Got some mail to deliver. What happens if I hit her? Oh, I automatically slowed down? Oh. I didn't even slow down there. The game automatically slowed down. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> okay, by the way, if you guys don't hear music, it's because what I said in the beginning of the episode, which was they copyrighted that. Did not know that. <laughs> there was multiple copyright strikes because there was multiple music playing on the radio in this game. Thought they were good. Guess not. So, there's going to be no more music playing. So, if this part is boring now, ha, don't blame me. Skirt, skirt. All right. 
I feel like there's a lot today, isn't there? I'm kind of afraid to look, to be honest, but. So I can't run people over. I can't even, like, hit them. Sucks. It's whatever. It's the way I gotta move. Uh, no, I just wanna. Alright, okay, I gotta, I, uh, I gotta take photos too. You know, I'm just gonna do it when I'm by the lakes and stuff, because that's like fire. Uh, what, is, what the hell was that? Is that my journal or something? Okay, we got two more. Oh, we got three more up here. And then, uh, let me hide this. Okay, nothing's over there, so. Oh, I gotta deliver the movie box. Alright, bless. Alright, this seems like a cool as view, so I'm gonna take a couple photos of this. Seems fire, right? I look you thought I see fire. Alright, let me go over here and take a couple more. Cause this is like the main spot, Loki. Like this is the main spot. So I feel like taking photos here will be fire. Also, I'm skipping all like the delivery stuff right now because that's just me driving around and there's not even music playing anymore, so it's just gonna be a little bit boring, so I'm not really trying to bore y'all with that, but this seems like a vibe, so why not, right? Okay. Tell me these iron fire photos. Selfie look at that. Alright, let's. I'm gonna go. So, when it comes to packages, there's one all the way at the farm, so I'm gonna cut back when I'm there. Alrighty, we're here at the farm. This is a new location we haven't been at yet, so, might be a little exciting. I assume I delivered this at the house, so. Let's do this. A little nice little house here. You know, like, a little farmhouse type shit. Kind of a vibe. Oh, they're gonna answer the door, innit? Yep. Hey, uh, hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds? Indeed, I am. Hey, and Jack I Reynolds. Reckon you're the new postal worker. I reckon you could say that. You could say that. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. DJ? Okay, nice okay what are you spinning? DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Indeed it is. But it's a nice distraction from farming. I've seen better Yo, tell him to DJ the club real quick. Mary to shake some ass with that. You feel me? <laughs> How about your playlist? It's really nice. Thanks. But I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato <laughs> harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Sure, no sure. problem. No problem. Thank you so much. Wait, it didn't have a stamp on it? Am I getting in trouble for this? Oh, wait, no. Not really. I mean, I don't know why I would get in trouble for this. Ooh, this kind of views. Hold up. Let me take a couple photos here. Uh, no, nah, that's not a view. All right, bless. Let's move on. I think the next package we got to deliver is at the diner, which hopefully today I get my blueberry pie low key. So I'm hoping that's the case. All right, we here. I swear to God, if I don't get my blueberry pie today, Mandem's gonna be pissed. I know we're gonna be talking. I know this is a cutscene. I know it's guaranteed. Come on now. Is that a new person? Oh, this might be a new person. Oh, it is. Hi, Kay. Delivery for the diner. Okay, hey, my bad. Sure, just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Hey, Kay, about the other day. What about it? Uh. <sighs> I really put my foot in it. Maybe it wasn't the best time for that conversation. Is it always going to be the first choice? Maybe not. Yeah. So... I, talk to I think the first option is always yeah. the best. 
is what I'm assuming. And like the last information is like the most negative, like you're trying to get out of there basically. Like you don't want to do these cutscenes. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. She got those Yu-Gi-Oh earrings. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the little... Uh, I'll put a picture on the front of the screen. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry I wasn't there. For you and Maureen. It's kind of you to say, Merida. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Even so, it never seems to be the right reason. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize... But Maureen, where my blueberry pie at? Across your face. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> my blueberry pie at. Some things never change. You say that like it's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now we're best friends all of a sudden. Hey, she was throwing me shade like a while ago. It was good to talk. I mean, you know. He, she lucky at being nice right now. I could easily dismiss an entire conversation. See you. See you, Kay. See ya. All right, see like that? Because I'm not trying to waste time. We got stuff to do. All right. I think the next things we got to do are side missions. Like, I did, I did all the mail stuff now. So I think all we got to do right now is, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, this should go long, innit? Um, yeah, we got this, and, like, I think I'm supposed to deliver mail to Frank, but it doesn't pop up, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to Lori next, I guess. See y'all there. Already we here at Lori's place. Skr, skr. Oh, crashing to your shit. That's fine. Who cares? Let me grab it. This is the music box thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Here you go, listen to your... I mean, watch your movie. I was about to say, listen to your jam. Movies box. I said music box? Yeah, my bad. Hey, Miss W. You got some mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, tight. What are the options? Let me see. The Love Bug or A Nightmare on Elm Street. You'll probably love that bug. I'm oh. almost 16, Miss W. That's a kid's movie. Well, I watched it when I was in college. You're alive. Watch your tone. you're saying it's an ancient kid's movie. You call me old? About a slap. You just don't understand the classics. So you'll pick A Nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Fix your attitude. I thought you didn't want that one. Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll drown me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. I noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Uh, sure. Tell you what. Take the love bug now, and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so Gotta much. Gotta be nice to the only Deal. mechanic in town, nice yo. Because guess what? If your car breaks down, that motherfucker ain't gonna fix it if he's on your bad side. That's crazy. Like, think about it, right? If it's the only mechanic in town, the one person that can fix cars and vehicles and stuff, and you and you on his bad side, and your car breaks down, guess what? You're walking everywhere. That's crazy. But yeah, since the post office ain't that far away, I can keep on talking. But yeah, I don't know what the next cutscene is. Um, I thought we were about to do something with Angie, so I got myself excited. Uh, not in that way. Maybe that way. But... <laughs> Uh, and maybe next time, maybe it's a, maybe another quote unquote date. So you never know. Uh, but yeah, let's deliver this, and we're gonna end the episode here. How about that? Cause you know, we gotta end. It. We gotta end it off. 
I hear people walking, like, it's really close to my, like, it's, like, really loud in my earphone. Like, I don't know why. All right. We're back. Another day of work done. And I don't know what the next cutscene is, but I'm going to cut it off either way. All right. I wear a Moe's Diner. So, next episode, we'll be back at Moe's Diner. All righty. So, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Again, please like. Let's hit a like goal of five. Come on. We can do a like goal of five, right? And yeah, please subscribe for more content. Obviously, comment what you want me to play next or what you want me to do in this game differently. But yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. Make sure to check out the other episodes linked in the description below with the playlist. It will also be up here, somewhere up there. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great week. Love you.